everyone. Uh, we're going to go over an organic treatment for mites for our bees. First week in October and we're going to go ahead and treat for them. And we have some mineral oil, wintergreen oil, and we also have some tea tree oil. I got some of the bigger bottles because they say treat every three weeks for at least three, at least three treatments. And these are 16 ounce, 100% pure and natural tea tree oil. And this is the same thing, 100% pure natural green, winter green oil. And I'm going to show you the mixture. We have a cup of water here. Pour it in the blender. And all this is organic. And I'm going to do a cup of mineral oil. We'll get the big jug so we can save on that too. We got a cup. As you can see, look at it, water and oil don't mix. So that's why we have it in the blender. That is pretty neat though. <laughs> and we are going to add a teaspoon of wintergreen oil. I got a little teaspoon measuring thing. I was going to put it over in case I spill any. Oh gosh, I doubly did. Okay. Much harder to pour it out of a glass. But hey, that's it right there. Got her. Smells really good too. <laughs> Nikki really likes that one. I could smell it through the bubble wrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a wintery green minty smell. The other one I don't like so much. The tea tree oil? Mm -hmm. The tea tree oil is for disease and uh, illnesses and to help their like immune system and stuff. Keeps them on track. That's not too bad. It smells like, it smells like stuff that my dad used to spray on me when I went hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's dad got two deer and we got plenty of jerky. Dun, da, da, da. And they say you're supposed to blend it for five minutes. So we're gonna do. Okay. And you have to blend it like this to make it mix, otherwise, the water will not mix with the oil. And the water helps the smoker run better, so. Set the timer. It's best to put some water in there and not just mineral oil. Okay. And I have some ultra soy. However you pronounce that. <laughs> yeah. Let's it thin. 1,200 milligram, and it's a gel capsule. I'm going to, I blended it for about four minutes. Go ahead and cut it. So squeeze it all in there. That's supposed to help them as well. All right, I'm blended for the rest of the time. Now it's done mixed for five minutes, and it looks very milky. You can tell it's mixed very well together.
That's weird. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pour it in here because I probably won't use it all. That is so weird. And if I just add a little bit of water, shake it up, try to get whatever you can out of it. Just dump it in there. Okay. Now that that's done, put the lid on it. Okay. I'm going to come over here. And I have a gas smoker. And these plastic ones don't have that good of a seal, so I'm going to add some Teflon to it to make sure the seal's good on it. It's about two, two on it should be fine. Just to give it a little more thickness, do like that. And the propane tank. Goes right there. I got a big propane tank. They have these little small ones that you can buy. But I'm like, why should I buy a small one and I can get a one that'll fit these bigger ones. He's giving me a hard time because he's got a lot of pressure. And tighten as tight as you can, as you can see, just like so. And here's the rod that you put on the front of it. I'm going to put a little Teflon on that as well, so we have no leaks. Just a roller or two around it should be fine. Like so. Try and put that on there. And they do come with a a little wrench. You can hand tie as much as you can. Good. It's airtight, as you can see. This is ready to shoot. Now we'll go outside for the rest because it does get a little messy. And that stuff's nice and creamy. Go ahead and screw this on here. So you don't have any leaks because the bottom is exposed. Just hand tighten as much as you can. About about there. And it looks like this. Get the bigger tanks, it's gonna save you a lot of money. And it bounces pretty good on that big tank. Go ahead and pour this in there. And mark this back here. You're going to tighten that on there like so. And you're ready to go. And it says when you use oil, there's a little thing on it. It has flame, big bar, medium bar, small bar, stop. And it says go medium. So.
That's probably medium. No. It's almost like a propane grill, as you can see. It has a small flame on it. And as you can see, it has a setting back here of how much smoke you want to put out. Ready. You see it makes a lot of noise, but that's just when the fluid's going into it. Barely hit, pull the trigger back a little bit. Every time you hit the trigger, it's going to make that noise because of. Sounds like a helicopter. There we go. Best to have your gloves on. So it looks like the longer you hold the trigger back, the more pressure it builds up in here, and that makes it get hot. So if you hold it back like this, and whenever you release it, it shoots it out like so. How about that? The flames are kind of blowing back towards the gun, so I'm walking sideways. As you can see, we're blowing it real heavy like this is all, all organic, so we're fine. If we eat the honey, we're totally fine. As you can see, it's got a pretty good hot flame coming out of this thing. Bees are flying out. They don't mind. Helps the disease, helps the aurora mites. They are going to be flying heavy. <laughs> Smoking's done. Go down your temperature. Turn her off. And I still got quite a bit of solution in here. And three hives. Easy work, thanks for watching. As simple as that, get it hot, there's a trigger here, pull the trigger back, shoots it out, as you can see, you don't want it shooting liquid. Alright, thanks for watching Ruby Homestead, the organic way. <laughs> <laughs>